Good morning. On this inauguration day, as our country prepares to welcome President Biden and Vice President Harris, we pray together for a peaceful transition of power. And I invite you to share with me a prayer for our country. O oh God and God of our ancestors, bless this country and all who dwell within it. Help us to experience the blessings of our lives and circumstances, to be vigilant, compassionate, and brave. Strengthen us when we are afraid. Help us to channel our anger so that it motivates us to action. Help us to feel our fear so that we do not become numb. Help us to be generous with others so that we raise each other up. Help us to be humble in our fear, knowing that as vulnerable as we feel, there are those at greater risk and that it is our holy work to stand with them. Help us to taste the sweetness of liberty, to not take for granted the freedoms won in generations past or recent days, to heal and nourish our democracy, that it may be like a tree planted by the water whose roots reach down to the stream. It need not fear drought when it comes, its leaves are always green. Source of all life, guide our leaders with righteousness. Strengthen their hearts, but keep them from hardening, that they may use their influence and authority to speak truth and act for justice. May all who dwell in this country share in its bounty, enjoy its freedoms, and be protected by its laws. May this nation use its power and wealth to be a voice for justice, peace, and equality for all who dwell on earth. May we be strong and have courage to be bold in our action and deep in our compassion, to discern when we must listen and when we must act, to uproot bigotry, intolerance, misogyny, racism, discrimination, and violence in all its forms, to celebrate the many faces of God reflected in the wondrous diversity of humanity, to welcome the stranger and the immigrant, and to honor the gifts of those who seek refuge and possibility here, as they have since before this nation was born. In the words of the prophet Amos, let justice well up like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. Let us say together, Amen. We pray together these words by Rabbi Ayelet S. Cohen. We pray together with hope in our hearts and with peace in our thoughts. We pray for a peaceful day today, a peaceful day tomorrow, and peace as we move forward together as citizens and residents of this great country, as members of this beloved community, and as people who are part of the family of humanity. We pray for peace, shalom, and for shalem, wholeness for us all today and every day.